A 级 A， 耶、yes. ， OK， and you want to look on the partnerships， uh, generally these days sometimes uh, people experts skilled workers even non skilled workers they can unite they can come up with the uh, some strategies they can come together to form a business so that they they can maximize profit or make wealth or for other uh, objectives so it is very important for us and accountants to understand what do we mean by uh, partnerships what is what, what do account for partnerships account uh, for those who did a level and all level uh, accounts they covered this so much especially at a level but there are some of us who have never done uh, uh, these topics we have never come across a uh, partnership accounting okay we need to define what is meant by business partnership to understand who owns manages and share the profits in business partnership we should invest to investigate the deeds of partnership those are the critical uh, objectives which we are supposed to look today let's look on the partnerships here so a group of people often with similar interests who come together to share the workload and responsibility of running a business so they can come maybe they are lawyers they can come up with a, a partnership those lawyers then they give themselves a name a uh, we've got architects these people they can come up with a we can form a partnership they've got accountants because uh, this lawyer, somebody might be specialized as an economics uh, economist lawyer, somebody maybe as a political lawyer, maybe other one as a constitutional lawyer, or other one as a human rights lawyer. So they can form a partnership so that at least they are covering all the angles, they are covering the important aspects. So that is very critical on this. That's why we are saying sometimes partnership is what. It's very critical. Then we might have the architects again, because they offer the different experts in this area. Accountants, accountants. Some they might have speci they specialize in forensic accounting. Some they might have specialize in maybe in management accounting, and other in financial reporting accounting, and so on. So that is very very important for us. Okay, what on for a few minutes? I'll come back to you. I'm um, attending something. Okay, sorry, uh, welcome back. Uh, there were some visitors. Okay, so we are saying here, yeah, these partnerships, what they can do, there is uh, shared ownerships, they share ownership usually, shared decision making, decision making, they can come up with, uh, everyone can participate in decision making to come up uh, what is supposed to be done for the planning purposes and uh, 
to appoint maybe the uh, employees uh, resource allocation and so on so that is very very critical then you share profit the partnership the share profit at the end of the day depending on the profit sharing ratio the shared liability for debts if there are debts this is supposed to be one person but to everyone workload they should work for the business as we see as we go on to say maybe the other partner might be given a salary if maybe or she um, is spending most of his or her time in the business of the end of the of the, of the partners then you go to the but each partnership is responsible for the entire debt. So it's very critical to understand that of the partnership. So if one partner makes a bad decision, then it, it has to be made by all the partners. So which means that if you are choosing a partner, uh, if your partner to work with, you need to look for a partner who is going to be very uh, good, a partner who is uh, honest with diligence, with that working, who is not going to not to uh, form a better decision, who is going to form a good decision, not just a partner who is going to come up with a bad decision, which is going to affect the organization. Then we look on, on the uh, why partnership. The reason is surely to expand the business by an increase in capital or to gain specialist skills that are required for the business to develop. So what we are saying, we are saying we need to understand that uh, we need to increase it, expand the business by an increase in capital. If you are increasing in capital or to gain specialist skills, if you are gaining specialist skills, because it's very important to understand that um, we need to benefit. We cannot be good everywhere, but sometimes because the, the we need specialists, specialists who are supposed to uh, help us, who are supposed to come up with the experts and skills. Uh, kindly admit your colleagues, please. If somebody is lobbying, can you admit uh, that person? I'm pleading with you to admit your colleagues. Because for me, it might be difficult to see those who are in the lob. So please admit your colleagues, please. We are a family, we should work together. So admit them. That is the purpose of that capital. If you are pulling capital, we are saying those capital which you are pulling. We are saying at the end of the day, find out that, a, for example, there are two, three people, John, Peter, and Tom. John can pull $200, Peter $400, Tom $300. Then if they aid their capital invested, the resource invested, then those uh, three uh, people, can buy, can acquire maybe a machinery for setting their business. So they pull uh, that capital, that is very critical. And again, a capital can be in form of an asset. Somebody can bring a car and somebody can bring, can have an office to work for and somebody maybe can have the equipment to use. So it's very, that is very critical. Who owns a partnership? A business is owned by the partners equally. Each, if there are three partners, then they will each own a third of the business. This is the case unless stated otherwise in the deed of partnership. So what we are saying, unless they state that the profit sharing ratio is four as to two as to six. Otherwise, if they are not, uh, there's no such a, a clause. What we are saying is that the, the partnership they share profit and the capital is equal. Okay, I think that is clear that if the person is silent, it means they are sharing one is to one is to one and so on. But if the person is saying they are sharing one is to two is to three, 
it means that is their profit sharing what ratio. Who manage the business? The partners share the the control of the business equally, unless the partnership agreement said otherwise. In the main partnership, each partner may run a separate department. You should understand that. Then you go on to the deed of partnership. How profits and losses are to be shared. That is very important. So profits and losses usually they are shared according to the uh, capital invested, depending on the partner's what agreement. That is very important. Then you go on again to the next uh, the next slide. That is the next uh, item. How much money each partner is put into the business is invested? That's the status of partnership. How much each partner gets paid a salary? A partner can be paid a salary if he or she is spending most of his time uh, carrying out the partner's business. So that one is very critical again because that salary, we want to find out what salary should be, what should be given. Then the working arrangement of the partnership. Each UF is complete for which part of the business? Business might have departments. So by having departments, uh, each partner might be responsible in certain area, usually depending on the expert and the specialist. For example, if you've got a business, maybe which is in the uh, car manufacturing, somebody might be in the mold, molding assembling, maybe fabrication, or, or other department. Then the partners, the partner will be a, given a jute, will be allocated a jute, maybe depending on the area of specialization. Then the working arrangement of the partnership, e.g., who has responsibility for which part of the business? That is very critical. Arrangement for removing a partner or adding a partner to a business. A partner can be uh, removed, uh, which means that they can uh, be a dissolution of the partnership. Say we are now going to dissolve the partners, then we restart. Then uh, maybe you can say, uh, of many reasons, maybe somebody becomes ill, or somebody is no longer doing well, is making the is making bad decisions, or there is uh, some conflicts, or maybe somebody wants to move out and restart other business. This is allowed. Arrangement for ending a partnership. That is very critical. And the dividing up the assets when the partnership is dissolved. That is very critical. Okay. Then you go on to the next one. So the deed of partnership, the name of business will be. So in your business, you do attend to this one. The business activities are, then you write, each partner agrees the sum of in dollars, how many dollars has been provided by each partner. The duties of the partner should be as follows. Then the bank account profit should be shared out as follows, which should be paid. These are some of those things which are supposed to do at this of partnership for the agreement. Then advantage of a partnership. One is easy to set up. Business can gain professional help through taking one on a qualified partner. So that is very critical to find that those professional, the ideas, the divergent ideas from different people is very helpful. New partners, new ideas, extra partners bring extra capital. That is very important. Responsibility for running the business, both decision making and workload is shared. Finances are kept private. Vision of labor leads to greater expertise. So it's very critical for us to understand those key elements. Say we should understand that once we work as a team, the teamwork is very critical. Somebody they bring capital, somebody will bring an expertise that is uh, critical. Then the labor is also being divided. Uh, that is very crucial. Then you talk about the disadvantage of forming a partnership. Uh, you find out that 
a unlimited liability of the debt of the business. That is the problem. Unlimited, which means that you are liable. If the business uh, in case debt, which means that uh, the partners, all of them, uh, the assets, even at home, they can be uh, come and collected so that uh, uh, they can pay up creditors. Your partnership's assets, they can act as collateral. That's the problem. There's no, uh, there's no separation of the partnership and the what, and the business of individuals, like in a Kanban. Finance too limited, this a lack of continuity. Main partners, they die at young stages. Also, if they manage, maybe the main partner decided to move out, it might be very big problem. No consultation requires, these of partnerships are only recommended. That's the problem. You, you should just make a recommendation. Decision making more complex sometimes. So before you go further, the next, this way, that's the uh, highlights about partnerships. Any questions, any discussion, can we discuss before we move forward? Before we move forward. Before we move forward, is any questions? Can we discuss? The interaction is very critical. Let's discuss this before we go further. Any question? Okay, let's continue on with our lesson. Um, uh, this one we've already done. To say this one we should do, I will just give you the brief on the slide here. But I'm now telling you the new what the, the book here. So that at least you go and read this area. You, you read widely. I was giving you a skeleton. Then you look on the partnership agreements, according to the partnership agreements, what we're discussing about salaries to be paid, partner arrangement of addition of new partner, procedure to be kept out. So that is very important. So you go and read this one. Then what you want to look here, um, I want to ask to look on the key aspect here, which are when you are now preparing our accounts. One, there is the interest on drawings, the interest on drawings. Interest on drawings, what is important is to understand, so interest on capital, that we usually, we we'll try to encourage our, we we'll try to encourage partners to invest more. Then we say the partners will be given interest on the money which they've invested before we share the profit. So how do we do the interest is seated as a deduction prior to the calculation of profit and their distribution among the partners. This is done so that uh, the partners who watch will be encouraged to uh, invest more. So, if, for example, here they are interested in capital, after net profit, then Allen did, and so on, they'll get their interest on in partners. That is very critical. So, the interest on in partners, 
uh, it's going to uh, increase the partners the, uh, the partners taking so we find out that for example here we find uh, the net profit is 36,000 that is the near one interest on capitals are in 2000 v 1000 remainder shared they share the what the remainder the remainder what they are going to share they are going to share 36 minus 3000 because 2000 plus 1000 is 3000 so they are going to share 33000 so if there is no clause or this or partnership which is half half unless stated otherwise stated so they will share 16500 16500 so they go to the next year again they do the same the interest on capital is deducted first before sharing the net profit that's the rule then interest on drawings because some people they like to uh, just have a habit for making drawings to the company or uh, so because of this uh, the partners they can come up to say they charge you interest uh, if you make a drawing so interest on drawings in many cases it reduces the partner's profit that's the disadvantage that it is just your your profit uh, this is there to discourage a uh, partner from taking the business fund and also the partners from just uh, have a habit of taking maybe even the stock because we all understand that a uh, if an an individual or a business entity uh, take drawings such drawing they reduce the capital so for example here a uh, drawing one january 2000 one march 4800 what they do they say maybe depending alan and pg decided to charge interest on drawings at five percent per annum it that the a and was the same but the following are so which means that the interest on drawings is five percent of two thousand five percent of four thousand eight hundred five percent of thousand four hundred five percent of four thousand eight hundred six months why suppose 12 months here is full 10 months we say 10 over 12 eight months it's eight over 12 six months six over 12 you be very careful on this because um, if it is five percent per year depending unless otherwise stated that it is the partner's policy that uh, the interest is charged wholly uh, is charged in full uh, regardless on the date of taking the of taking the withdraw the drawings to say even if you take the drawings on one of two but they'll still be charged five percent but in this case if they are quiet which means that you are supposing to portion it you are supposing uh, to pro rata pro rata it means if it is only three months it's 1600 times five percent and three months so you count from 1 October, if the reporting period, uh, the reporting date is 31 December. So you, you count from 1 March to 31 December, how many months are they? That's 10 months. From 1 October to 31 December, that is three months. So it means the amount which has been taken here times 5% times 3 over 12, then you get this one. So you need to be very careful when you are calculating this. Then we go on the next uh, go on to the next again um the next one for so this one i think is clear if you have got any question can you ask before we go further any person on the partnership to Capital and, cap and the partnership to draw in. Yeah, yeah, we don't, yeah. Hello? Hello? Any question? 
Hello. Yes, Mr. Anderson, yeah. I, I can hear you. Continue. Okay, I now muted. Uh, the other thing, can you admit your friends, please? I'm I'm noting that you are not admitting them. They are on the lope. If you are now inside the meeting, you can now admit others. If somebody is on the lope, just press the green button. Accept the person. Sorry, okay. sir. So what are you are saying? Hello, sir. Hello? 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 Hello, stay. Danganchuk. Frankwood, I shared with you. Okay. If you don't have, I will resend again. So here yeah, we 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 we're saying okay. So that is the interest. So interest on drawings. Uh, which means that's going to be reducing your what the partnership to proceed. Then the partnership salary, the partner salary, what we are saying, generally it can be given to a a, a partner depending on the agreement who spend most of his or her time carrying out the partner's business. Then performance related payments partner, uh, if maybe you can say performance bonus maybe a commission for the those who are doing well in the business let's just look on the a simple example here uh, who can read for me for us just reading Okay, and read for us from Taylor and Clark. Taylor and Clark. Okay. Yes, continue. Taylor and Clark is in a partnership or any sharing profits this is issues of Taylor. Oh. Three over five, black like two over five. They are entitled to a five percent per annum interest on capital. Taylor having twenty thousand capital in Clark, fifty thousand. Clark is to have a salary of fifteen thousand. Charge interest on drawings. Taylor being charged five hundred, Clark one thousand. For any distribution of the partner. Counted to fifty thousand and eighty one cents. Okay, thank you. So we are saying the ratio is two fifth Taylor, three fifth, and Clegg two fifth. That is very critical. So the net profit is fifty thousand pounds. So the net profit here, what would be saying? We say net profit that is fifty thousand. Then charge of interest on drawings. Taylor being charged the interest on drawings you are given. That's like becomes very simple because you are given these figures. Otherwise, sometimes the examiner might say. Uh, uh, might ask you 
might require to calculate it. For Taylor, that is 500. Clark, 1,000. That is 1,500. So it means a, when you are charged an interest on drawings, the, this one, it increases our net profit. Uh, then it becomes 51,500. Then the salary, it's like a borrowing which you have done. If you borrow money from the bank, you pay interest. When you are paying interest, uh, it becomes an expense, a burden to you. Someone is borrowed. Then salary, click, that is 15,000. Interest on capital, Taylor, 1,000. Clerk, 3,000. All this is given here. We are given that 5% per annum on their capital. So it's 5% of 20,000. That is 5% of 20, which is 1 over 20, you get 1,000. That is the 5% of uh, 60,000 for Clark, which is 3,000. So these figures, they were calculated. Then they are then that is the uh, interest on what? On capital. So the salary for Clark should be paid first. So you need to understand the order of apportionment. When you are distributing the profit, you need to Yes, a knowledge on how are you going to distribute the profit. The profit. With this regard, it means Taylor is 1,000, Clark 3,000, then 4,000. Then 15 minus 4, that's 19,000. That is 15 minus plus 4, that is 19,000. Then the balance on profit, say 2,500. Then they will share the remaining profit, three fifths of that. So you share the remaining profit after you have added at first, you need to add the interest on drawings. Then you less salary. That is very critical here. Less salary. Then the balance of profit. Shared, you share the balance of profit. So the interest on drawing, they increase the net profit. Then the salary first, you apportion the salary. The interest on capital, interest on capital here, they are taken as expenses. Salary, interest on capital are taken as expenses. So that is very critical. Then when you are going here to their accounts, balance of profit, they've got 19,513,000. Then this is their, their individual accounts. Then the interest on capital, they increase their, um, their funds. That is 1,000 for um, Taylor and 3,000 for Clark. Then the salary, because the Clark has got a salary of 5,000. That's why we have got 15,000. So that's why we've got 15,000 here, because Clark has got a salary of 15,000. Then we add, then less interest on drawing. But less interest on drawing it reduces your balances uh, to be carried forward. To reduce your balances to be carried forward. That is uh, 500 and 1,000. All right. Any questions before we go further? Any area which need clarification? Any area which need clarification? There is no area, any area which need clarification. We can you allow me to proceed to the next? Let's go on. So here, let's say we are now drawing the trade and profit loss account. That is what we're doing here to say net profit from profit and loss account, 50,000. Interest on drawings, 5-1 and so on. Clark, that is salary, 4,000. Interest on capitals, this, that is 1-3-19. So 
the same as what we did here. So we need to understand. Um, let's go on how to prepare the card, the account. That's very critical. Let's say here, um, fixed capital account plus current account. The capital account of each partner remains year by year as the figure of capital put into the partners. So the amount of resources which has been uh, invested by the partner, they will remain the same. Um, that, that is what the idea is. So they will remain what? The same. The profits, interest on capital and the salaries to which the partner may be entitled are then credited to separate current accounts for the partners. And the drawings and the interest on drawings are adapted to it. The balance of the current account at the end of each financial year will then represent the amount of undrawn or drawn profits. A credit balance will be undrawn profit, where a debt balance will be drawing in excess of profit with the partner was entitled. For Taylor and Clay capital and current accounts, assuming drawings of 15,000 for Taylor and 26,000 for Clark will be as follows. So, what you need to look is on the Taylor current account. So current accounts here, what is happening? Cash, that was the drawings, that's 15,000. Pro, yeah, profit and loss for a professional account. Interest on capital, 1,000. So profit is 19,500. So on the debt side, on the credit side, the debit and the white credit side. So what Kayla uh, is received? It would what to be credited. Then the drawings, the drawings. For well, these drawings, at the end of the day, they they are going to be taken from this amount. This amount. So the amount which they generated, which was generated by the partner during uh, that particular period. Is supposed to make sure that um, he pays this account. So the amount of interest on capital received, share of profits, should pay the what the drawings, and should pay the interest on drawings. Then you find out the what the balance. So which means that this is the balance for Taylor. That is the only net balance for Clark. Profit and loss. A profession account. That is uh, for salary. Both this one going to receive a salary and income. So the current account is with what you credit the salary. Then it's going to benefit from the interest on capital gain. That is a uh, uh, we create again. So profit we create again. Then the drawings. He made the drawings of twenty six thousand. This drawing they reduce this amount the profit which were made. Then you have got profit and loss appropriation account, interest on drawings, 1,000. Balance, that is 4,000. Because this one, the interest on drawings will reduce this amount because it's an expense. All this on this side, they are what expenses. Drawings, no drawings is an income, which were, but it's like a loan, which is incurred by the what? By that partner. That's why find out that it is written on the uh, debt side. You need to, to look and learn this structure. Okay, how do you treat drawing? How do you treat salaries? How do you treat interest on capital? How do you treat share of profits? These are supposed to be known. Okay. So when you are coming to the uh, capital account. The capital account, like what they say, they won't change. They might remain at the same uh, value unless otherwise. So we prepare the capital account, then we prepare the what the current account. The capital that is the amount which you invested initial investment on the what on the business. That is the capital account. 
people here, their current account are as follows, can combine cash drawings, that is 15 for uh, Taylor, then Clark 26, interest on drawings 500, 1000. Then we look on the salaries, interest on capital. So when you are doing this, that's the current account, you are now taking this information, then summarize it in this current account. If I just, that is, we increase what one row, then for what each member, the, the, the reporting system should do, include its member on, on his own capa. Okay, so. Hello? Hello? Yes, I have a question. 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 Yes, I have a salary. Yes, I have a question. Yes, I have a question. And we are starting from here, whereby the yes, clerk sir. is receiving a salary of 15000 mm -hmm. Yes. Then when you come to this account, the current account of yes. clerk, all this is an income. We are crediting the, what, the income. Salary 15000 mm -hmm. Interest on a capital. Okay, okay, okay. Hello? Yes, sir. I understand. Yes, sir. Yes. I do not understand. All right. Any other questions before you go further? Ah, sir. Okay, thank you. So I'm saying this one was the summary of just now separating each and every one. Taylor, then Clark. Taylor, then Clark. It was just summary from what we're doing here. Um, that question of capital, sometimes there might be capital changes during the year. So let's find out what can be done. Fluctuation, they can make maybe reduction or the company might, be, the other partner might decide to invest, uh, invest his or her own resources during that particular time. So we need to understand this. Uh, if fluctuating capital account has been kept for Taylor and Clark, they would have appeared capital, Taylor capital, let's say um, Taylor is got a bank capital, capital usually we say of 20,000, then profit and loss account and then interest, interest the pattern brought forward was 20,000. That was the capital. Then interest on capital, 1,000, show profits, and so on. Then the cash drawings, 15,000, it reduces the capital. As we all understand that a drawings reduces capital. Then interest on drawings again reduces your capital. So it means the balance carried down becomes what a, because it is a flash switch, not capital accounts. Because as we understand, we know that the int the the drawing they reduce capital, but the profit made or by the business during that particular period it increases our capital. We go on to the clerk, the bank six thousand. That is the um the amount which was brought forward. Then this was increased by salary and interest on capital, then share profit again. But on this side, again, we've got drawings of 26, which will reduce our capital. Then interest on drawings, 1,000, which will reduce our capital. Then the balance carried forward becomes 64,000. Any other questions? Then you go on to the balance sheet. That is the statement of financial position. Or the balance sheet, how to present it. This is an extra, it is not in full. The capital account should be disclosed separately, 20 something. Then current accounts, they'll also be 
uh, disclosed like this interest on capital uh, salaries clerk received a salary of 15,000 then drawing show profits and so on then drawings they reduce the what the capital that is the idea here then you go these figures so it becomes relatively simple any questions before we go to the next one all right let's just take a there are no any questions let's just take a, 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 a few a few minutes for break let's say about uh, five minutes is enough hello class hello 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 i'm saying can hello. you take you can take a break maybe or oh, let's say 10 minutes okay thank you sir. thank you sir. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Hello. The break is just okay. Uh, ten minutes is okay. 